llamado el cucalambé. I didn't expect that many cultures yes. to be honest because like normally you know how Tucson is is like not really crowded and like empty and like if there's an, a, a, an event like all the people are together and like you can actually see how many cultures are living from different countries all over the world in Tucson and like come together and having a great time. Yeah, yeah a lot of different cultures right? Yeah. We're all living together so there are always events here kind of similar right like the, the, every second Saturday is the event, right? It's pretty cool. I, yeah, I feel like you get a different feel for like all the cultures, like all the different food you can try. Like, you just get to see like, um, like something outside of your own culture. Like you get to try all the food. Food. I like sampling different types of food out here, but we were just watching the dancing, which is also quite fun. Um, the Polish dancers were quite active and very athletic, so it was fun to watch. The highlight of the festival was when my daughter got up on stage with the uh, Swedish and Norwegian dancers dressed in a costume that we got from a friend, and the costume was 106 years old. But the ice cream with the fancy gentleman that was oh. doing um, I also bought some Indian fried bread and uh, some of the corn, the fried corn on the cob. I think it's, it's a big impact, and my father was just commenting that um, he really appreciates how Tucson supports Tucson Meet Yourself. Um, the Vasa booth has been here for 20, or sorry, 40 years. And every year it gets bigger and bigger, and I think there's a, a, a lot of people from the Tucson area that come out and support it.